Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I want to share with you some items from Arteza and some footage as I work on my October Patreon art print of the month. Thank you so much for Arteza for sending me the products I'll be using in today's video. Starting off we have this cute purple pencil case. I love these two-sided pencil cases with the flip compartment and the center I like to use to hold my favorite pencils. It has the elastic to keep them separated. Lots of fun stuff can go in there. And then they also sent me this expert 140 pound hot press 14 sheet watercolor paper pad in a nine by 12 size. I really enjoyed using this watercolor paper as you'll see later on in the video. And finally, this pack of 12 premium watercolor brushes. I was pleasantly surprised with the size and quality of these brushes. I used several of them in working on the piece in this video. So just feeling them in my hand, I was so excited because they were just a nice chunky size, felt really good in the hand, and the weight and the size of them were just fantastic. So I was trying to do a fancy pop them in my cauldron for the month <laughs> to use and they all fell out, sorry. So using the paper pad, I'm working on a fortune teller. Um, I decided to do a fortune teller and a fortune teller machine, which is something I'd been wanting to do for quite some time. And so I'm just showing how I'm all set up here to get started. I did the sketch off screen because I'm really out of practice as far as drawing. And so it took me like almost a full day to do this one drawing. I just really needed to um, just take my time with it because I, I just, you know, working on doll art, I don't really have the time to practice and it really takes practice to be able to, to draw and draw quickly. So I'm not an expert with watercoloring, that's for sure, but I just wanted to um, test out this paper and the brushes. There was some of that like starch or sizing in the brush as, as they come with to make sure that the tips don't get damaged and everything and they were in really nice shape. So I was just kind of testing out the um, brushes with my art and I was, I'm actually using Arteza watercolor paint here as well. Um, which I love the the watercolor in the pans. It just has really fun vibrant colors Like I said, I'm not an expert watercolor painter by any means. It's one of my favorite things to do though because it's just so relaxing um, and uh, It does take several layers um, to build up to get some color and um, it, it just I just enjoy the whole process So like I said, this is for the October print of the month. I have um, an art print that I do monthly for my patrons, for um, those who subscribe to the, the Patreon tier that has the art print. And um, for this month, it was uh, October, and I was kind of inspired just by the season to do a fortune teller. And I've always liked those old timey fortune teller machines. So I decided to do one in that machine. So I wanted to jazz it up quite a bit, so I did the tassels on the inside and just kind of gave her a lot of accessories in inside the machine. And this took like three days to do, but it was just really fun. So here I'm just building up more and more layers. Um, so I, while I'm doing that, I want to thank Arteza for sending me these products, which I thoroughly enjoyed working with. Arteza has been kind enough to send me a 10% off code, which is Scariosity's Doll Art 2, and you'll find that in the description box below. It's 10% off. And as an artist affiliate, I receive a small commission from the sales through that link at no extra cost to you. And a major heads up, they will be having a Black Friday sale coming up, so check that out because you guys know I love the Arteza watercolor pencils for my doll face-ups. And they also have a set of pastels at a really great price that I've been using a little bit, um, and they've been working out good for a good economical um, option for pastels for d doll face-ups. And they're coming out with products, new products all the time, so make sure to keep an eye out for their Black Friday sale. Also make sure to check out the Arteza YouTube channel for um, inspiration. I put their link as well in the description box below. So after I was done watercoloring, I decided to go in with some inks to give it like an aged look. So I'm just kind of adding some 
textures and um, blending out just to age it up a little bit. So I'm going in with this, um, it's, it's sort of an ink that reacts to water. So I'm adding some bits of blue around the outside to, uh, and then I splashed on some water to give it some sort of interesting effects around the outside. I also added a little bit of this glitter ink to the, blo to the uh, what do you call that, crystal ball. And then once I felt com comfortable with all of the colors and the shading, and de I went in to add some detail lines, line work. I had a really great time painting this fortune teller, and I hope my patrons enjoyed her. It inspired me to do a little bit more watercolor for my next couple of Patreon art prints, at least the next one maybe. If you're interested in subscribing to my Patreon for these art prints or other rewards, check out the link in the description box below. My Patreon is mainly formatted to help those who want to learn doll art, but I also have a monthly art print tier. So thank you so much for my patrons who allow me to stretch my art muscles and try other mediums because this is a always a lot of fun to do um, kind of get away from doll art for a short bit during the month to have something else to do kind of keeps me accountable to, to try something different so thank you so much to my patrons for that so let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this painting or Arteza or anything else thank you so much for joining me today I hope you have a wonderful November talk to you soon bye